What's going on everybody? I was going to make a YouTube video about uh, auto auth and registering scan tools and such, but I saw that Cody over at Cody's Auto Diagnostics already had done it. But here's an example um, that I was in process of making a video about a C0051 on a Chrysler late model 2020 and the process of resetting stuff on it. So head over to Cody's channel, check him out. He's got some great content. Let's take a look at this Chrysler. We have ourselves a 2020 Chrysler 300. And we have about 2,500 miles on a clock. And as you see here, it has a traction control light and a stability message coming up on the dash. We're using Cardiac 3 Plus for our testing with YTEC. As you can see, when we log into the YTEC, you can see we have 12 DTCs, but that's as far as we get. On these newer vehicles, you do have to log into your Tech Authority account as well. This is the same as the Segure Gateway module that Cody's Auto Diagnostics was sharing recently in a video as well. So once I log in, I can see the codes in the vehicle, and I do uh, take a look at them all. The one we're going to be concerned about with today is an ABS module. It's a C0051-28. Steering wheel position sensor signal bias level out of range. Zero adjustment failure. And that's more than likely due to a wheel alignment. This thing has a new spindle because it got all bent and everything. I do make my complete vehicle DTC scan as normal. That way we can save that for our customer. And we're going to go back to the vehicle here. Now you will see here that we do have a bunch of codes in all the modules. But what I know we need to take care of first is this uh, ABS initialization procedure. And you'll find that in the miscellaneous functions menu. So we're starting this ABS initialization procedure. And it's on the service information, they actually call it an ABS verification test that tells you to initialize the uh, ABS control module for this code. I see this code all the time with cars that are hit or out of alignment, if you will, and the shops don't have their scan tools set up to be able to clear codes. You gotta get registered with uh, auto auth, as Cody had said. So this is just uh, what we're doing here. Prefer we are performing the ABS procedure, just following the instructions, pretty simple, straightforward, not hard to do. How many of you guys out there that watch my channel have your tools registered through Auto Auth or are using a YTEC? Let me know. I'd like to hear about that. And for those of you listening, I have some big news coming up. I'm going to be starting some online courses. They will be paid courses, but they're going to be online, uh, not to the point where you have to be present, not live, but uh, online courses that have uh, good content. I'm sharing some great information at a re very reasonable price, I believe, but uh, more on that later. So here we go. Our EBS initialization is in progress. That little blip you saw was actually the YTEC losing communication. It happens sometimes. But you just follow the directions on and off. And it's resetting the rolls information, just like the older ones, all the way back to uh, 07, 08. I think they were doing that, if I'm not mistaken. Probably, probably earlier than that. Now we can go back here and go back to all DTCs. And as you see here, the ABS module cleared itself out. This was interesting. There's not even a history code for the ABS. So at this point, all the codes are showing as stored except for the one BCM code. We're going to hit continue, clear all our codes, and let's see what we have here. Turn the key on and off. We have no code stored right now. Let's go ahead and cycle the ignition on and off, start it up. And I always like to cycle the wheel. Now, if you follow the ABS uh, initialization procedure, we do have to take this for a test drive to verify that our repair is complete. 
And as you see here, the body control module code has popped. As I said, this thing got smacked in the front end pretty good. And uh, we're going to see here that I found a harness issue for that left front headlamp. Well, it's a brand new car, and I would say that probably happened from the wreck. Oh, yeah, guarantee it happened so, from the wreck. This was an easy one. I'll take it. They're not always that easy to or find. Just repair it. But we definitely got to repair that or get that harness replaced. I don't know if you can tell in the lighting here, but the insulation is actually broken. You can see the copper wire down there. Thanks a lot for taking the time to watch, everybody. Stay tuned for the up and coming new information about the online classes. I'm going to try and get a few different classes up there uh, in the short term, and we'll have a lot of them in the long term. Have a great day.